Okay, so how often do you manually write? And yeah, I mean how I'm writing, like right now. I'm taking notes. Okay. Um, what what do you what do you write, or even drawing too? Okay. So I guess let me go back to my first question. Actually, how how often do you write and or draw? With your hand. Okay. Um, and what do you, what type of things do you normally write or draw? Or poetry, short stories, just ideas down, anything? Okay. And how long do you think you write a day? Like, 30 minutes or an hour. And when you do write, do you use cursive? You use plain? Are you left-handed, right-handed, both? Do you write with your teeth, your feet, any other appendages you write with? Okay. okay. And can you show me how you would, say if you're about to write, how, how do you hold your writing instrument? Here, I'm gonna give you this pen. Show me how you... Okay. Okay, no, you don't have to write anything down right now. I'm going to test that in a minute. Okay, great. I'll take this back. Alright, so let me take a quick note of that. Wait, can you hold it for me one more time, actually? Okay. Oh, okay, interesting. So you hold it between these two fingers. Okay. And another question, when you write for any amount of time, do you feel any pain or pressure on your hands in certain areas? And if you do, can you point them out to me on your hand? Okay. Okay. Do you get calluses too? Like um, between your fingers, even on your palms, depending on how. Okay. Okay, so I do have a writing test for you. You're going to write the quick brown fox jump jumps over the lazy dog. And this is basically an English pangram, which is basically a sentence that has all the letters of the English alphabet. It's also called a hollow alphabetic sentence. Okay, I don't, just big words. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and give you... Okay, hold on. I want you to write... Um, in pencil because the graphite makes it easier for me to see where you're putting the pressure. So let me find my pencil. No, not this one. The Sharpie. Oh, okay, this one. You're gonna write with this one, and we want it to be dull. So I'm going to go ahead and give you that, and I'm going to turn to a fresh page right here, and I'm going to have you write, okay, I want you to write, let's see, I want you to write on this page, okay, so let me go ahead and give you that. So again, you're going to write, the quick brown fox ju jumps over the lazy dog, and I'm going to do it with you. So. Actually, let me tear out another a page of your book, sorry.
in the middle of this magazine. Okay, we're gonna do this together. I'm just gonna use my Sharpie. So, it's, um, you can do it in all caps, lowercase. You can just do it how you, how you norm how you just write a normal sentence. So, the first um, letter is capitalized. Yeah, just normal punctuation, all that. Okay. So. A quick. Brown. Fox. Jumps. Over the lazy dog. Lazy dog is a restaurant. Have you ever been there? Um, yeah, their their foods their foods okay. Um, I haven't had too many things on the menu, but I really like their. They have this candied maple bacon. It's an appetizer, but it's, oh, it's delicious. I'm a sucker for sweet bacon. For sweet. When meats are sweet, like I'm a sucker for that. Okay. So, did you write the quick brown dog? Okay, good, good. And now, I want you to write um, one through nine. Oh, I, I mean, I'm sorry, zero through nine. Oh no, I, I I really meant write the letters one by one. So start at zero, then one, 